Well, let's proceed and just look at the integrals of logarithms and exponentials. Just within five minutes, we'll look at one or two. So, we've already established to say integration is like the reverse or anti-differentiation or the opposite of differentiation. So, we'll approach this in such a way. So, I've already told you to say, when you look at... Uh, y is equal to e to the power 2x so one thing that we were doing to differentiate that we are basically saying our derivative is going to be whatever you have get to divide by what get to multiply by the derivative of a power so the derivative of a power so first of all maintain what we have and then multiply by the derivative of a power which is a 2 and then natural log of a base so now of course in a case where we've got an exponential that is not necessary because it becomes what? 2 e to the power 2x. Okay. So the opposite of that is you understand that, okay, well, if that is the case, if integration is the opposite of differentiation, if I've been given the integral of 2 e to the power 2x, one thing that you'd have to look at is Okay, well, since I've got an exponential function, and since integration is the opposite of differentiation, since for differentiation I multiply by the derivative of the power and then natural log of the base, what is going to happen is this time around I'll divide. So if you have 2 e to the power 2x, you are going to divide by the derivative of the power, which is a 2, and then of course natural log of a base plus a constant c. So here what you can see is 2 and 2 will divide. And what's and you know that the natural log of e is a 1. So what remains is e, e to the power 2x plus what? Plus e. I think this is this is proof enough to say integration is actually the opposite of differentiation. So, well, if that is the case, how about in a case where we can have a look at our y being equal to 2 to the power 2x, for example, in such a case? What might you expect there, or what should you expect? <coughs> so in this case, you know that if you are to look at your y prime, you expect that the derivative in this case is going to be, again, we multiply, first of all, maintain what we have, 2 to the power 2x, and then we are going to multiply by what? The derivative of the power, which is a 2, and then, of course, natural log of the base, which is just that. Okay. So if we are to reverse that, what do we expect? So the reverse of that, which is like expected to be the integration, of course what we have here is we have 2 to the power 2x multiplied by a 2 multiplied by natural log of 2 as our de derivative. So for integration, we're going to basically do the opposite. That is, we'll divide the entire thing by what? By the derivative of the power and then divide by the natural log of the base as well. So that goes away, that goes away, this goes, that goes. So it takes you back to that, plus C. Okay. So at least we are now getting the idea there. So integration is the opposite of what? Integration is the opposite of differentiation. Now, so we've looked at a few examples under exponentials. Let's say to look at logarithms with what's going to happen. So if you have got y is equal to natural log of, let's say, 2x, right? Um, yes, let me start with x squared. Let's say x squared. Um, okay, let me use x first of all. There's a reason why I'm trying to use x. So if I use natural log of x, one thing that we we know that the derivative of that is going to be the derivative of natural logs or logs is first of all the derivative of what is in the brackets, which in this case is equal to a one divided by the actual, which is just x. Of course. We understand that we're also supposed to put the natural log of the base e. But in this case, what you can see is what? Natural log of e is just equal to a 1, right? 
Okay, so it's not necessary for us to show that. So we have 1 over x. <coughs> so this is a case now where I was saying that if you have a case where you have 1 over x, the opposite is just the natural log of x. This is what I was trying to say. So this is where it comes from. We know that from the deriv derivative, it is going to be like that. And I think this can be backed up by another example. <coughs> if you have y is equal to natural log of x squared, your y prime is going to be, the derivative of what is in the brackets there is 2x and then divided by x squared itself. Okay. So there, what do we expect in this case? In this case, what we are going to have is our y prime will reduce to the x is common, so we have a 2 and then over x. So the opposite there is the derivative of 2 over x. We can pull out the constant so that we have 2 and then the integral of 1 over x. Now the integral of 1 over x is what? It's just natural log. So we have natural log of natural log of x. Now you know that according to the rules and logarithms, this can go back as the power there. So you've got natural log of x to the power what? x to the power 2. So you can clearly this to say when you have 1 over a variable raised to the power 1 or in other terms the variable raised to the power negative 1 the, the, the opposite is the natural log. Okay. Now just one more example that we would have to look at that is under logarithms. Now what about a case where you have these bases let's say x squared. In such a case, we know that our y prime in such a case, again the derivative of what is in the brackets or what is attached to the log is going to be 2x divided by, what are we going to divide by? The actual function itself multiplied by the natural log of the base. In this case the base is what? Is 2. For Of course for the natural log we know the base is e, that's why even if you say natural log of e, it will disappear for the other ones from looking at. <coughs> so of course in this case, this will reduce to 2 over x natural log of 2. So the question you might be asking yourself is what happens if you, I want to reverse that? Or if I've been given 2 and then x natural log of 2, how do I basically get to integrate that? So we are saying the opposite we basically get to do the opposite, right? Okay. So what you want to do is, since you know that for differentiation, <coughs> what was happening is you were basically looking at, if you look at the numerator there, it is as a result of the derivative, right? So the derivative there. So how do we get to move from this part and then go back to that part. So you can pull out the constant which is a 2 and then we have 1 over x and then we can split as well we have what? 1 over natural log of 2. 1 over natural log of 2 I believe is, uh, is a constant so we can actually pull it out as well. So let's pull it out so that it can be outside. So 2 over natural log of 2 as a constant. And then we understand that 1 over x, if you basically get to, to integrate that, you are going to get the natural log of natural log of x. So reduce to 2 natural log of x over natural log of 2. Now, of course, we understand that the laws of logarithms uh, tell us that uh, this can be expressed as natural log of x to the power 2 over um, natural log of 2. So, of course, this is equal to that. Okay? So, you may not understand right now, but if you've done the conversions of bases, okay, let's try to do it for the sake of having fun here. We can still do convert the natural log back to base 2. So what you need to do is if you are converting, so if you convert the top part there, 
2 base 2 you would have to say log 2 in base 2 so we get rest of all the top part and then you again the same base log 2 now with the base the base of natural log is e so we are going to divide so divide what are we dividing with the converting natural log of 2 to, to base 2 so the base is e so again we're going to have log 2 of 2 and then log 2 base e now dividing is as good as multiplying by the reciprocal so if we do multiply there will be an exchange the e part goes on top and then the 2 goes down of course that is equal to a 1 this and this will divide so we are going to have only log 2 of x squared remaining so you can see clearly to say indeed integration is the opposite of differentiation